Good morning everyone. In today's video I will explain the relationship between the drawing unit of your file and the layout scale. It uh, might be one of the annoying uh, topics that we do when you want to print uh, depending on the layout or the paper space in AutoCAD uh, which is the type of difference you use whether the, you use a, a, a metric uh, meters or a millimeter units. Uh, so I just brought the uh, two files that are almost the same, just a little bit uh, at a circle to distinguish this and uh, it's just a millimeter units here while here it's a meter uh, if you recall from the previous video that I prepared a couple of months ago uh, for my dear student at Ajman University is uh, how to make a basic layout in AutoCAD I do believe that I explained one of those methods and also the in details how to make a layout from scratch so if you don't know how to make a layout or a paper space and how to link it uh, you can go back and refer for this video in this one I will uh, uh, particularly focus on making the you know the, the scale unit <clears throat> sorry the drawing unit or show you the relationship between the, the drawing unit and the layout scale so here I have already prepared a document I'm not gonna you know explain that in detail in this one I'll rather go up and uh, you know uh, change and create the required uh, very fast if you need the details about how to do that and each one what they do is just go back and refer for the video that I just show you in the beginning of this video uh, maybe here I'll just call a different thing which is monochrome uh, that's the only difference between this video and the rest one and the previous one uh, sorry uh, yeah you need to you need to rename that of course I'm gonna call it uh, ground flow uh, <clears throat> let's go and start up with 1 to 100 and I think we need to call that I think a plan is and that's the that's the plan that's the scale and that's you need to add also the size of the paper I'm gonna copy this guy here the frame you can copy it from the model space I just prepared it in the you know in the in the previous document uh, careful in mind those dotted lines to represent the printable area based on the hardware you have um, Again, I'm, I'm not going to explain that. Uh, I'm just going to fix the viewport here and try and avoid to touch the external frame. Anyway, you might need to stretch the frame as I said, but I'm not into this in this video. Now, that's my viewport and it's again to remember that this is a meter. So, fixing the scale might be uh, annoying. I'm not going to talk about the annotation scale, so I'm just leaving these guys alone. I'm talking about the standard scale and the custom scale. So, on the standard scale, it's 1 to 100, so technically you will find uh, that a little bit of annoying. If you go 1 to 100, you find, you know, that's uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of uh, fixed up this scale and give you 0.01. And in the, in the viewport, you find absolutely nothing. So, I double click here to open the model space and then double click again here and inside to zoom extend to the whole document anyhow now if I double click outside back to this it show me something really crazy here it's say 10 and that's mean that the standard scale is not really actually doing what we was expecting from it the reason behind that is I do believe that is actually been set for the millimeter and in the previous video I just taught you how to you know uh, go ahead and complete the 1000 so if I say 1 to 100 and that's the 1000 because the meter have 1000 millimeter inside it's have to multiply by that 10 so the custom scale have to refer here as a 10 if you put that 10 here which is what actually gonna complete the 1 to 100 you get your own scale as uh, fixed correctly 1 to 100 if you want to make it 1 to 200 I'll take the 200 and, and you know multiply it by something in order to complete the 1000 and that's something that number is 5 so again go ahead and make this as 5 and you will find that you know uh, scaled uh, uh, to 1 to 200 and the area is actually goes almost to have in both uh, half in both dimension so that's it it's uh, a 1 to 50 uh, you need to add a 20 and so on so that's I already explained in the previous video but again that comes from the premise that 
uh, it's actually based or built into one to, you know, as a millimeter units. So what happened actually in the millimeter? Again, I explained that in the previous video, I'm just revising it quickly here, which is in the metric, you have to complete the 1000 and the functions and, you know, uh, if you call that a, 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 a very basic math, uh, the algorithm behind it or the sense behind it, you need to complete the 1000, does that to 1 to 100, just multiply it or guess what you multiply it by that uh, to get your 1000. It's basically to divide 1000 over 100 so to get this number and divide again 1000 over the 200, which is the scale here, to get uh, the custom scale you're looking for. In millimeter, it's, you know, it's a basic division. So if we say 1 to 100, that's, you know, the custom scale you need if you need it. So I will go now to the millimeter, this guy here, and again I have the frame, so I have to, you know, quickly go ahead and uh, adjust the paper. I should have, I should have just done that before I start up the video. Anyway, that's my bad. It won't take seconds from you guys, sorry. That's the monochrome, and again go OK, and I'm gonna bring the frame To set up this, I'm not going to rename the the sheet. You need to rename that thing. Don't want to waste time more. Uh, fixing this properly here, and then you know, drag that as such. So now let's have a look. Something that frame will need is uh, again ignore the annotation. I'm going to go here and say one to one hundred, and it will work immediately as you can see it's look like that it's been designed for one to one so for a millimeter system and that's it's just working perfectly here without the headache and again if you want to make this one to fifty that's the standard scale already preset made for you and you can say you can see that that's one hundred and that the drawing is like actually bigger now if, I, if you want one to two hundred you will start to get frustrated and as you can see, it's not defined. I think you can go and, you know, custom define it. But I'm just saying, if you don't want to do that and you want to, you know, first calculate it manually. So that's the 1 to 100. And you have a look if you, if you notice that uh, it's not showing anything in here. It is actually showing, but usually the unit precision, if you start up the units, you know, the precision I have the habit to cancel the, 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 the parts and the decimals uh, after this point because you know it's a uh, part of millimeter which is I actually don't care about in, in, in a millimeter unit of thing of drawing so again if I open that you will notice that the 1 to 100 is this number and you can figure out quickly this is just a basic division so it's actually dividing 1 over 100 to get you this guy if we follow the same rule if I want to make 1 to 200 I'll divide 1 over 200 to get this dude here and uh, again if I just place that in and hit enter I will notice that the scale is actually been reduced to half so I can go ahead and define that later on as a custom scale is 1 to 200 following this rule if I want to want 400 again you divide 1 over 400 copy that dude here and place it in here hit enter and it goes even uh, smaller and smaller if your precision because I always suffer with my dear student that they say that uh, you know they, they said that of three digits only and when you know when they select this they see something weird here it's 0 0.03 and they think that they you know they got one to a 300 uh, that's why I always tell them to be careful with the precision as you know the 0 0.2 0.025 or actually 0025 that 5 will be you know rounded to make this 3 and they will start up or anyone else will think it might be 1 to 300 as it's been rounded that that way so be careful with the digits and the amount of precisions you need to open in order to fix so that's a very short video for you especially the guys for my students uh, tuning uh, because they keep asking the, about the differences between the units in, in millimeters and meters in the previous video I focused as I said on the meter and 
that's that's all guys so in this method in the millimeter technically you just need to divide 1 over 100 as shown in here while in the metric you have to complete the 1000 or to divide the 1000 over this number and you get yourself you know this custom scale factor to make things work as uh, printing or a layout uh, scale so that's it guys I wish that you find this uh, video useful thank you very much for watching me have a good day bye